actually had to close in this project in late fall, early winter. So um, using a mass timber uh, process was very advantageous to us. As part of the IPD team for the Oakville Fire Station Number 8, Trustman Steel Industries Limited was involved in the supply and installation of the structural steel and the metal deck. Our main supply for this project was the apparatus bay. The installation of the structural steel on this project went very smoothly with the team. Well, building a winter always has its challenges, so the more construction you can do that's actually not out in the extreme weather conditions, uh, the better and the quicker the assembly can be. Um, this project specifically, uh, it actually never got that cold, so unfortunately we were actually dealing with a lot of uh, mud and a lot of uh, water and everything because it was actually a pretty mild winter, so um, not your typical winter conditions, but it was definitely challenging. Uh, we are very happy about the fact that this is a uh, fire hall that's uh, made out of wood that uses uh, burnt wood siding on the outside of it. So as Element 5, we uh, involved in the IPD process and we provided all of the structural components for the residential portion of the structure and then we provided our prefabricated exterior facade panel for the whole periphery of the building, including the Shosugiban siding that you see here on the outside. Wood was an ideal choice because it, it is lightweight and very strong compared to, to its weight. Uh, then, and you're not putting extra money into just holding the structure up as well. So. We utilized a VRF system for this project. It lends itself to a more compartmental installation. That ensured that we could reduce the number of large duct penetrations through the CLT panel. Where penetrations were required, we ensured they were within the model prior to the fabrication of the panels. This ensured that they were in the right location and to the right size. Contrast that to a typical spec bid build project where multiple manufacturers are bidding on the project and the material that comes to site could be different than what you had designed for. This can lead to overall design changes and reduce flexibility through the construction process. Um, one of the advantages of the clip system was that the, the clips came to site with insulation and strapping. So by utilizing a siding system, we were able to quickly clad the building once the CLT was erected on site. One of our core values at Lead Architects is stakeholder engagement and we really believe and trust in that process and to us a successful project marries both aesthetics and user satisfaction. My name is Jovan Filipovic. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer and I help design the fire hall. The fire hall is both an essential service and a home to our first responders. So having that wood, the natural feel and look of the building really was important to our design team. On a typical project, this may have been very difficult. However, with the IPD process and the emphasis and openness, shared risk and collaboration, we were able to make the architect's vision of exposing as much of the CLP as possible a reality. The use of an integrated project delivery method really helped to bring everyone to the table early and expedite the design process. In conventional project delivery, the supplier and specialty engineer would not be included until after the design has been set. However, knowing where the material is supplied from and who the fabricator is from the start means that as the specialty engineer, we can tailor designs, panel layouts, and connections to suit the preferences and capabilities of the factory as well as address panel size and shipping limitations. 
We had a good working relationship and open lines of communication with both the engineer of record and the fabricator. We understood what each side needed, quickly identifying and resolving issues that satisfied everyone. Overall, the IPD helped to streamline the design process and speed up decision making and response time.